today I'll be looking back at The Legends of Zelda. Released by Nintendo in 1986 on the Japanese Famicom Disk System, Zelda captured the West a year later on the NES, and pioneered an extensive amount of technical and gameplay features. The object of the game is to explore the map and complete dungeons. Dungeons are full of monsters, items, old men, and glowing triangles, which can be used to save Princess Zelda. The original game came with a fold-out map that was extremely helpful, because Zelda just drops you into the action, and doesn't tell you where to go or what to do. There's lots of shops and extra quests, like taking the letter to the old woman for some medicine. You don't have to do anything in a certain order. But I like grabbing the bracelet first so I can open up the warp zones. You move around in four directions from an overhead perspective, and you thrust your sword with A, and use items with B, like bombs or arrows. Pausing the game brings up a menu where you can select the B weapon and view a map. If you have full health, your sword shoots a beam, just like in real life. You can upgrade some equipment like your sword, armor, or maximum bombs. There's over a dozen different items you can collect throughout the dungeons and shops, and they're all fun to discover for yourself, so I'll leave that up to you. The most brilliant feature of Zelda is how open and mysterious everything is. You can go wherever you want and look for things to do. Remember, there can't be more than one secret per screen. There's also this trick where you can leave one enemy behind to prevent more from respawning when you return to an area. You can complete the dungeons in different orders, and the game is always throwing new enemies and obstacles at you. There's also boss battles that reward you with extra max hearts, and you can also find them hidden in caves. Always take the giant heart. If you lose all your hearts, you get sent back to the beginning of the dungeon, or the starting screen. But all your progress is kept. This was the first cartridge you were able to save games on. Don't forget to hold and reset while pressing power. Overall, The Legends of Zelda is a masterpiece of the gaming industry, full of rich gameplay that's suitable for a widespread audience. It can still be played today by casuals and pros alike because the design is timeless. And once you beat the game, there's an entire second quest that's more difficult and contains different dungeons and caves. And a new mechanic where you slither through illusionary walls. The Legends of Zelda was way ahead of its time and has aged beautifully.